Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Wade. And I just want to say hello today. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day, no matter where you are in the world. I'm just checking in with y'all guys. Sharing one of my bags that I had in my den. One of those that came from my storeroom that no longer exists due to cost concerns wanted to use the money for something more important to me like my project in the motherland so anyway that's what happened so i got rid of the storeroom and now i have to eventually give things away for one purpose or another even if it's just for fundraising purposes with the patrons as I get patrons, more patrons. But anyway, y'all, this doll came from the Gambia. Look at hers. In fact, y'all, she came from Senegal, now that I think of it. When uh, I traveled to Senegal, we stopped in this shop on the way back to the Gambia and she was there and I just thought she was the cutest little thing so I bought her she has her own jewelry and everything so she's one of my collectibles she's very soft y'all very soft and I have this mask I know this is a Nigerian mask so made out of wood and some type metal. But I never know what I have, y'all, until I start going through the boxes <laughs> to see what I need to put where. Do I need to put it on another uh, shelving so I know where things are for when I'm getting ready to use it for fundraise or use it for a project. I need to make this into um, a sewing project next time I go back to the Gambia, y'all. Look at this. I've seen this made into purses before, but I know I can get a skirt and a top made out of it because it's lots of fabric, y'all. It is. And I can always mix it with some other color. In fact, any other colors of the rainbow that's on here, <laughs> it will make it nice. So I really don't have a problem trying to uh, have coordinates to it. What was funny to me is I didn't even remember this purse that I bought a while back. It's a mud cloth bag probably bought it in Cameroon and then because Cameroon had a lot of these mud cloth bags and if not Cameroon y'all then Ghana but I don't remember seeing any uh, mud cloth bags in the Gambia but y'all I've been having some of these things for a while and so I just decided to share them with y'all and that bag there was things that just came from the motherland. On the short, I showed the one that was ordered as a collectible for the USA. But anyway, do you collect things when you travel? Or do you collect dolls or anything while you're here? I've gone through a, lots of series of collecting things from time to time. And uh, sometimes, y'all, I don't even remember that I bought it until I opened up that box. That little uh, uh, indigenous doll that I opened up was a real <coughs> surprise to me, y'all. I thought it was gonna be like a little 
uh, monkey baby in it. And then instead of a monkey baby, like I showed other people, it was an indigenous doll instead. It was a sister indigenous doll. And she's beautiful, y'all, but I just didn't remember that I bought her. And she came with her certificate of authenticity and everything. So, time goes and collectibles, they'll be here for somebody else to collect. I like to keep them with all of their pieces of paper when I can and their original box that'll make them worth something to the next person. Y'all, I've been seeing all kind of stuff on the internet today and I'm wondering about y'all. You've been seeing anything that caught your interest? Anything that made you feel positive about what's going on in the world? Y'all, most of my positivity comes straight from the Gambia, from my brothers and sisters that's working directly with Habasia Food Forest Project. When I see the land getting all green and everything and, and staying green, I just smile and think, I wish I was there. And when I look at my collectibles, it reminds me that I was there and that I got something to share with somebody in the future for one reason or another. One reason or another. Let me know if you collect things <coughs> or buy things as souvenirs. Oh, as objects for future fundraising projects. Let me know, y'all. I've been visualizing myself in the motherland and seeing all the stuff about visualization. Y'all, I see if it works. So I've been visualizing on a lot of things. So all I can do is when it worked, let y'all know it did. But before then, all I can do is just keep on visualizing. If you feel like sharing down below, if visualization has ever worked for you, let me know. I tell y'all the truth, the crow kills me. He actually figuring out how to drink water now that I left for this for the squirrels. <laughs> I guess he gangster now, y'all. Cause he used to just go get water out of this bucket that's underneath the tree. But this one is really out in the open that the squirrels they got used to us use. But I guess he say she let the squirrels drink out that water. I'm thirsty. I'm going to drink out of it, too. And he actually is tall enough to actually bend his little head down and drink water with no problem. So anyway, I don't have no problem with it being a, any animal feeder. Mother Nature is so interesting, y'all. If I just sit here and stay still. They just ignore me, too. <laughs> they be figuring out she's over there, and she look like she talking to herself. I might as well just do my thing while she's busy talking to herself or whatever she doing. And he watching me while I'm watching him. But anyway, y'all, I hope wherever y'all at in the world, y'all getting to enjoy nature as much as I'm in the, enjoying nature here. I wish I could see the monkeys in the food forest. But one day, y'all, one day, and I'm visualizing an eco-friendly housing at the food forest as well. 
like I said, if I can get the A-frames built first, I will. I do want a round house, but it's all about funding, y'all, and taking care of the food forests, number one. So whatever I have left over goes slowly by slowly on housing. So hopefully the A-frame bamboo house will do it just to get started, y'all. And then maybe from there, we can actually get folks motivated to what? Put five on it <laughs> and then go fund me account. <laughs> so the project can grow faster. Want that round house made out of earth bricks built. But probably I'll get the bamboo A-frame done first. If it seems to be something that we can do pretty economically. We just need a place for our land manager to stay first, y'all. And then me. I don't mind glamping. I don't. I already have the beginnings of the composting toilet out there. Just need to get the person to actually make it come, become a reality. I described it, but a lot of time people say, I know it, I know it, I got it, I understand it. And then they never do it because they didn't understand nothing. They just was saying, yeah. As a composting toilet, it's something, even though it's something then that's an old idea. It's not something that a lots of people do right now. A lots of people have the pit toilet with the hole in the ground, but not a, a not a lot of people using the composting method where you use sawdust, which pretty much makes it where it doesn't have any odor. You just go put your sawdust in there. And then when you're done, cover it up, move it off to the side, let it be there for a little while, more sawdust on top of it, and then you can actually use it for projects. But anyways, y'all, just checking in with y'all. Enjoy sharing some of my collectibles with y'all that I got when I was in the motherland. I got plenty more where they came from, y'all. I had boxes and boxes I need to go through to see if I need to eliminate any. Or if I need to pack up any when I go back to give away. So far, I only see fabric to take back to get an outfit made and just take the rest back to do quilting or use it for quilting projects there. But anyway, y'all, subscribe if you have not. Give me a thumbs up. Share. And y'all, if you want to know how to become a Patreon, let me know. I will put the information down in the comments just for you. Otherwise, the GoFundMe link will be in the information section as well as in the comments a link because yes we need you to get to the next level quicker I'm 70 y'all <laughs> we just need a little help y'all tomorrow not promise to nobody so let's get some help out here for help a sister out while she yet breathes because I always get so stripped out when people wait till something bad happens and then they want to know about the GoFundMe when it's not of any use to the person anymore. Show me some sign while I'm yet here to enjoy 
knowing that you give a care about me or that you care about the projects. Because I know once the project is at the, a good enough level, meaning the first house being built, we'll be ready to open up to the public to come in and see how the initial house looks outside, inside, and maybe even be able to see the next house being lifted in a little way. It's going to be an interesting place, y'all, with nice grounding, earthing pathways, meditation, prayer areas. I can just see it now, y'all. And by that time, we'll be getting all of the people that's in the Gambia area that want to see something different, a permaculture, food forest project, earthing slash grounding, meditation, prayer, walk area. That'll be really, really nice. Especially once the animals start coming back to visit. You can leave peanuts for the monkeys. That'll be nice, y'all. Ground nuts. But anyway, y'all. Till next time. Peace, peace. Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.